there, and they seem to favor Davian for whatever reason, and I believe that in the schools, when they had the deal, the, uh, I think the plan to put uh, 52 million students on uh, in, in labs that are based on Linux, uh, the plan was to put it on top of Debian, you know, KDE4 on top of Debian. Uh, but Mandriva has got a very uh, strong uh, market, I, I believe, in places like Brazil and Russia. I once heard statistics like about 4% market share for uh, Linux desktop in Russia and in Brazil it's probably a lot higher. I, I, I remember that as cool, about 4% market share, but here's the thing, it was actually from a Microsoft source. Yes, that, that's what I was going to say, and this is from a source that I would expect to be very hostile towards Linux, uh, so it's possibly even higher. Now, I don't really know, it's really hard to gauge, and it depends, do you count dual boots as Linux, or do you count it as, I don't know, half something? You know, it depends on the definitions, but I, I think it's just quite extensively. I mean, the population size in Russia, you have to remember, is not very high. Uh, yeah, I think I think that was for desktop Linux as a whole, the whole world, this article, but there's 4% market share, which, obviously, if you think about it, you think, oh, 4%, it's not really that much, but actually... When you think about how many billions of computers we have in the world today, and yes, most of them on Windows at the moment, but if you think about it, you think sort of 4% market share, that's not very much, but actually that is quite a lot, that's like millions of people, so if that's the whole of desktop Linux as as a whole, then that is actually quite good. Yeah. There was a time when Mandriva was exploring the uh, whole netbook thing, and they, I believe they worked in collaboration to some extent with some companies that were working on netbooks. And they were attending some seminars and, you know, how to try and tap the market of, uh, of basically machines where Mandriva is pre-installed and possibly paid for. So, you know, you buy the machine and a certain amount of money goes towards the uh, distributor of the software. Uh, and they were trying to latch on to this market as a kind of an opportunity for revenue. And when you say that they have a new menu, and I, I didn't even know about this, I, I think when I, I thought Mandriva was just doing the same thing about Geo does. Uh, when you no, say no. that you will try interface, maybe do you think they aim towards, uh, they, they actually try to prepare themselves for new form factors and new types of devices, maybe? I think they're trying to, they're trying to, in, I think they're trying to innovate a bit because, they have, because what they've also done on the back end is they've switched to RPM5, which I don't really know that much about because I'm not a developer, but, um, it's like a fork of the like original like RPM4, which Magia is still using, and the I think Fedora is using RPM4 as well. I'm not sure yes. exactly, but RPM I know RPM5, that. RPM5, no. But RPM5, Mavivas uh, switched to it. Um, Unity Linux, which is um, which is based is based on Mandriva, but it's more of yeah. a distribution builder distro with many other distributions based on it and they got a nice little yeah channel. is there any connection between unity the Bring interface it. and this distribution no, not uh, no, those who think because most people will tend to think it has something to do with unity I know they would but it's not like that at all it's you for me unity is is many for me unity is a few things actually personally because it's because it says a channel on free you know with, with unity in its name that I Go to sometimes. Well, I tend to go to that one. There's a there's this like game development uh, program called Unity 3D, which yeah. people. Uh, it's based on Mono, isn't it? But, no, I, I'm not sure. I think it's proprietary. I think it's like Mac OS X and Windows. But All right. Not, I'm not really, don't really know about it, yeah. but um, I think it's proprietary. Yeah. But there's, there's, there's I, I know that. there is a Chromium uh, B, B, BS something. Uh, which is a game, so you always have these names and intersections between the names between of the... I mean, unless they're of the same type of, you know, unless they're actually gain the same behavior, uh, you probably won't get too confused between them, but when you hear the... Uh, I don't think it's trademark. Now, loads of programs with the same sharing, the same name, and just just happen to uh, happen to do completely different things. And, There's uh, uh, a... Yeah, so, Unity, the channel, well, name, part of the name, uh, you, Unity 3D, uh, Unity Linux, and Unity, uh, co- well, as I like to say, I, I, I like to say, I like to call it, I, I personally like to call it Conical Ubuntu Unity. Because, mm-hmm. uh, and I do that on Identica. If I, if I mention it on Identica, I, I tend to call it that. And yeah. I tend to say, I tend to, I'm still in the Unity group. On, I'm not in the Ubuntu group anymore, and that's been quite a long time. That's just too much 
crunchy yeah. stuff going in that group, but it's on the Unity group, I'm in the Chronicle group, and I think Pentax is in the Chronicle group, because, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Chronicle, a uh, uh, to Unity, I call it, because it's, it's really, it's really, it's really Chronicle's thing. It's... You mean the copyrights or anything else? I, I mean that, yeah, I mean that as well. Well, yeah, I mean that to an extent, but I also mean... Well, yeah, it's their, it's their thing, really. They, they're supposed to be doing all the copyrights, but apparently, basically. Yeah. And they was talking about if anyone contributes code to Unity, that they have to hand all their rights of the code to Conical. Yeah. And people worrying... I don't really know much about this, but a lot of people have been worrying about that on the internet and so on. Because of the copyright assignment policy that they have. Yeah, I suppose there is no obligation that the company would actually stay an open source company and won't be acquired by a proprietary software company, in which case they could just take it and rewrap or change the license for future versions. And yeah, it's actually too I, 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 I personally don't, don't trust these things too much. And there was a huge debate, I think, uh, I think it involved even open, open office that org. Uh, hey. And people were mm. talking about copyright assignments is one of those things that are supposed to be discourage communities and basically explain to people you want to attract the community, at least give them the, some 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 uh, waiver and copyrights, at least tell them, you know, you don't contribute the code for us to abuse and perhaps to proprietarize at some stage in the future by basically modifying. Obviously it's a but well, proprietary, you could keep the code yourself, but if they modify it with under a different license, they could do all kinds of stuff with it. Uh, and uh, if if they pass the copyrights, obviously to the company, and then the company actually owns what they did, uh, owns in a virtual sense. Or yeah, people people worry that Conical will possibly relicense Unity or any of the other products have got their copyrights on as 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 proprietary software. Some people worry about that. Others people will be like, oh, they're not going to do that. They they they're all about free software. They would they would never do that. And then I think somebody once told me something about how also having copyright assignment is to do with court as well. So if they were sued, yeah. they could they would be like, yeah, but I own all, or I own, we own all of this anyway. So something to do with the court, and I'm not sure quite. I don't really know much about that. But yeah, I and mean, that that's what they usually call the lawyer. A, there's a legal side to yeah, which well. which I try to avoid to the extent that I can. Uh, I just I think it's it's become it's come to the point when. Uh, where many of us people who just want to write code have to know something about licenses we use and how they can be used against us and how people can, uh, uh, you know, make use of patents to get around all kinds of uh, uh, what we think to be ownership of our code. Like, you know, I wrote this code. People will come to you and say, well, this code infringes on a patent somewhere. And, you know, and then geeks really do have to care about these things and they have to kind of know the law because it kind of comes back and bites them in the... In the in yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean... Unity as I think Unity as a project is kind of interesting. It just like it, it's I mean the Unity 3D uses is GCK. It's well in Ubuntu 10.10 it was the netbook remix interface, and then normal GNOME 2 with their chain their patches as the default. And then I tried it out on the desktop uh, in 10.10, and I thought that was quite interesting because. I had basically Ubuntu and I had Unity on top of it, and I had, uh, and I tried that with Ubuntu as well. And I had like the yellow Ubuntu bar at the bottom, and then Unity <laughs> going around and like around oh, as my interface as well. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. And I tried the 11.4 Alpha one, and it, it it didn't really well. It was an Alpha anyway, so it didn't it didn't really work that well. And I tried out, uh, and eventually I tried out the 11. Well, yeah, I tried that Lem for point oh four least candidate, yeah. and the fi final and Unity like that, and it was. So, so what, was this the first time you from uh, you actually explored Ubuntu? And I believe you moved away from uh, Ubuntu to a. I've, I'm the, moving. I'm moving more away from Ubuntu. Yes, but I. I explain I, your I, reason for moving, or perhaps and uh, motivation, and what's the benefit of moving. I, I I used to I used to love. Well, love is a strong word, but I I used to really like Ubuntu. For I mean, I I, I used it wasn't my first distribution, but I I used it from the second uh, release, so the four point five oh four five point yeah five point oh four to okay. to uh, when Ubuntu 
uh, as my main distribution and, until like went to 9.04 really happily. Well, 9.04 when it was sort of in development, I I started finding out that they were patching, they were changing GNOME, putting in their own changes, doing things to it. That